in each of the previous two seasons, but they've been up and down, and again, a lot has to do with key players being out with injuries. Curry looking, bounces, gets inside, looking to draw a foul, doesn't get it. Looney right there on the foul for the first points of the game. Seth Curry, the jumper, rattles it home. He is having his best season, over 16 points per game, and has become one these days, not, a, not bailing out the offensive player. Raymond Green's free throw is good. The foul at four, there's seven and two on the road, but he has said, no one's too cocky with our start. We're all aware the schedule has been played 25 home games and we're 21 and four. You're doing good work. You're right, because you understand how hard it is to win in this league no matter where you are. Pass gets to Looney, back out pool. Up top to Wiggins. Wiggins shooting a career high from the field, knocks down that three-pointer. Wiggins was struggling. The floor would really become constricted. Wiggins, Poole, and Curry have all been terrific. Scoring the ball. Of course, Clay Thompson soon to return. MB drives on Looney. Well defended. Kicks it out. Maxi. His corner three. Rattles around and drops in as the shot clock expires. And you look at the way the Warriors. Harris out. Extra pass. Maxi wide open. Corner three. That's another for Tyrese Maxi. Quick outlet, Wiggins back to Curry, fakes the three. Feet inside to Wiggins, beautiful pass for Steph Curry. This shows you Philadelphia wasn't just Embiid. Embiid missed nine games because of COVID, but of those nine games, Harris missed. Shot clock at five. Harris guarding Curry, off the bounce, left-handed scoop shot. He backs it in for his first field goal. Again, the seams of this six of defense. That's such a tough finish. Picks it up with one hand and scoops it off the dribble. Embiid one-on-one -on -one with Looney. Looney only 6'9". Nice move from Embiid. This is a tough matchup from that standpoint. Looney's will shoot two. And again, Draymond Green, two fouls. So he goes to the bench. Brings in Otto Porter. There. By the way, Steve Kerr. He's obviously the coach of the Golden State Warriors. He was there when... Ray Allen broke Reggie Miller's mark. That was a game in Boston. He was a broadcaster TNT for the game with Marv Albert and Reggie. Said it was quite the experience. Gary Payton has come on now for Golden State. And you see how Steph is taking his quick early rest as Jordan Poole lines up a three and Doc Rivers counters by taking Heibel out. He's going to try to match his minutes with Curry. Harris looking for a spot, mid-range shot, misses, Wiggins the rebound. Wiggins guarded by Danny Green, Danny Green coming off the bench tonight. Wiggins jump shot is good. Andrew Wiggins with seven early points. Well, that's off a good defense by Danny Green, but Wiggins is such a rhythm offensively playing with extreme confidence. And beat who shot well from three-point range, not that time. Rebound to Peyton. But the question always with Embiid, Jeff, is you know, he's got that ability to shoot from three, but he's so dominant when he's down low. 39% from three this year. And I'll tell you what, as Peyton gets the offensive rebound and a nice finish by Jordan Poole, but I would just say he definitely has the ability to make and every time he's out on the three-point line, the opposing coach breathes a sigh of relief. This is where he's a nightmare. And that nightmare draws another foul. Which is so important because it allows you to set your defense and it slows down this Warrior team. Looney picks up the first. Embiid, who's missed 10 of the 26 games when he's played. The Sixers are so tough, 11 and 5. The games that he's missed, they're 3 and 7. Connects on the first upcoming national TV schedule, NBA TV on Monday. The Warriors will play the Pacers in Indianapolis. Second game of the back. Suns and Clippers, they're back to back as Monday, Tuesday, the Warriors. And TNT Tuesday. The Warriors will be at Madison Square Garden against the Knicks and the Suns and Trailblazers in Portland. 
Well, one thing to look at, Embiid left the, the last game going to the back. So like the right side of his ribs was bothering him. And shooting that last free throw, the last two free throws, he was leaning, trying to stretch it out. Something to take a look at in the fold. He thought it was a cramp. They went back to the locker room. He did return to the game. He said he had a little difficulty breathing as Porter knocks down the shot. It was interesting, Mark, because they really never said what it was, but obviously he was cleared to come back out on the floor. Seth Curry picks it out to Maxi. Extra pass. Danny Green likes that right corner. Every time he coaches the paint or gets into the paint, they get a high quality possession. He's averaging a career high in assists. Porter shot in and out. Embiid with another rebound. Already six points, four boards, a couple of assists. Maxi, the first of speed, draws the foul. And that's one of the things they love about Maxi. So quick with the ball, and he'll shoot two free throws. And one thing I love is Embiid rebounding and initiating the offense. Comfortable enough to push the basketball, and then unselfish enough to get rid of it. He put Maxi in position to have a direct line drive and get the contact. This is, I mean, you got a big that's versatile enough, and you can trust him handling the basketball. He put Maxi in position to get to the free throw line. Maxi off the mark on the first. Now, this is what you were talking about, Mark, before with Embiid. That's the same spot he kept running at the other.